Guys, join me on a, on a trip to Cafe Diem in Alosta, an old heritage building which has been converted into a restaurant and cafe. Cheers! Constructed in 1896 in British Malaya, this building was first used as a prison and then it was turned into an opium den, a hostel for labourers and finally left abandoned for 30 years. Cafe Diem has received Green RE certification for existing non-residential category 2016. This means that this building has been built with efficient use of resources such as energy, water and other building materials, leading to a lower carbon footprint of the built environment and improves the health and social well-being of the building occupants. A lower carbon footprint leads to less greenhouse gas emissions, leading to less absorption of infrared radiation and less global warming. If you visit this cafe, you can see that they have optimize the natural ventilation and natural lighting here and you see they got a large variety of cheesecake on sale too they also use recyclable water bottles here the original cafe diem was a cafe located an alley and two rows away from here Encomas Sindian Berhan as part of his CSR program spent 18 months to restore this 120 year old derelict building turning it into a hip and trendy new Cafe Diem. Having heard so much, I decided to visit the place with the kids. This building has also won a silver medal at the Fiabchi World Pre de Excellence Awards for World's Best Heritage Building. Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the most anticipated moment of Salon's Awards 2019 Heritage Category. The World Silver Winner is. Cafe Tiam at Pekan, China, Malaysia. It was the developer's wish to restore the pre-war heritage building to its former glory using traditional craftsmanship. The building has a rich history, being a former prison built by the British Malaya in 1896. This information is displayed in the building for public knowledge, making Cafe Tiam a living museum. The cafe has also won the Persatuan Architect Malaysia PAM Award for Best Conservation Building in 2017. This is a menu, is it? Yeah. Oh, you change every day? Ah, uh, yeah. They are simple menu comprised of a variety of fusion dishes from baked chicken to pasta carbonara. One interesting selection was mee goreng orang putih which was actually aglio aglio with prawns, olive, garlic and chilli. There was also a wide selection of drinks available. The main dining room was called the Perahu Room. And it was here that the walls were adorned with framed pictures and photographs of famous people visiting the place and also on information on how they restored this building. There was one unisex toilet here. It was quite clean and well kept. All the taps in the cafe were water efficient taps and even the sanitary system was a dual system to conserve water. You can see hanging from the ceiling here are two boats called Purahu in Malay which are 90 years old and are made of Chengal wood. You can also notice that the developer had decided to cover this open air courtyard with a laminated low E glass and steel beam structure to invite natural light and ventilation into the building. The whole premises were also installed with 100% LED bulbs to save and conserve energy. I'm sure you all know the bad effects of global warming. Rising temperatures affect biodiversity by affecting the reproduction of plants and animals. In the oceans, there's melting of polar ice caps leading to floods. There's also an increased incidence of droughts and heat waves. What, what drink is this? Eh? What is this? Huh? Water. Tiramisu. Oh, is it good? Shorty? Tiramisu? You always look at me. Why don't you look at other no, no, people? Okay, people here. Okay, how is it? How are you find the tiramisu? Shorty? Yeah, huh? it's good. It's good. Oh. Okay. What is that you're drinking? Coarse blended. Coarse blended mocha. Okay, good? Huh? Look at how is that? Very nice, very nice. Huh? Do you very enjoy? Nice. Amazing, amazing. Okay. <laughs> 
The adjacent uh, alleyway had also been cleaned up, spruced up, there were plants there and decorated with nice street art. As a further green initiative, the interiors of the building were painted with low VOC paint. As you all know, paints with high VOC or volatile organic compounds are bad for you because they contain inorganic compounds which can be inhaled and damage your respiratory system. What is this? Sir? Uh, big chicken. Oh, big chicken. <laughs> the bottom one is green bean mesh. Oh, okay. Green, green tea. tea. Green tea? Just eat, just eat. <laughs> green tea? Yes, please. How is it? No, green tea. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Yep. I'll try. How to eat? What's up? How is it? I ate the tomato. Okay, you need to be see the chicken there. You take the chicken with the bit of the thing and tell me whether it's good. Okay. Forget the tomato. How is it? So good. Alright. Oh, you don't like it. What is it? Empangan chicken chop. Empangan. Empangan. How's the chip uh, proving? Good. Huh? Amy, how's it? So, Prashad, how you find the um, Ampangan chicken chop? Why Ampangan? Eh? Isn't it Ampangan? Good. Do you recommend the chicken chop here? Ayam panggang. Ayam panggang. You say panggang? Ayam panggang. Okay, okay. So the ayam panggang. Oh, in English, chicken chop was quite good. The chicken is quite crispy, mixed well with the vegetables and the fries. And the drink was what is this? What drink is this? Double chocolate moody. Smoothie. Smo smoothie. <laughs> Smooth consistency. <laughs> cool, refreshing chocolatey taste on a hot day. Cheers. <laughs> my my nephew Pravin and Priyanka, my niece, are both pescatarians, so they cannot eat. <laughs> what? Meat. Only fish and fruit and vegetables. <laughs> Water. Now I'm trying the water which comes free <laughs> in Cafe DM. <coughs> it comes in a nice traditional glass what? container. No. Mm, very refreshing. <laughs> nice, clear, refreshing water. Cheers. <laughs> and that one was big chicken with lemon and herbs. I don't like this video. So, Jack, the food is almost finished. That means you really like it, I think, isn't it? It's because I shared it with people. But it's good, is it? You recommend it? This narrow wooden stairway had been reconstructed to resemble the original as closely as possible. And the three rooms here used to be old prison chambers. The first room is now called the Tunku Room in honor of our first Prime Minister Tunku Abdul Rahman. This picture shows the Tunku listening intently to the radio for election results on July 27, 1955. Customers can view the Prahu or the Malay boats from the overlooking skylight windows here. The tables here were assembled with salvaged wood saved from the building's original fixtures. 80% of the timber was infested with termites and needed replacing. And 30% of the concrete slabs on the first floor had to be replaced too. The china room, or originally the master bedroom, note the five Chinese lanterns hanging here, with a Chinese character on each one. 
each character symbolizing family, harmony, all business and success. The meaning conveyed by these characters were our family is at peace and harmony and we will achieve prosperity and success in all we do. From the window you can get a view of the old buildings of Pekan, China. Note the vintage Bakelite light switches which were well preserved and still functioning. As you walk along the corridor, you can enjoy the personal art collection of Datuk Cheng, the managing director of Encon Mas Sindiran Berhad. As you come down the stairs here, you can see these three Chinese lanterns hanging down with the words Cafe Diem on it. These were made by the famed lantern maker Chen Muan Wei from Ipoh. Behind Cafe Diem, there is another building which is now a bakery called Diem Bakery. This was also restored by Ankomas Sindian Berhad in 2015 together with the Cafe Diem. This building was originally built by the late Babington great Dato Eddie Chong's family in 1910. It was first used as a warehouse, grocery warehouse, and then it was used to house birds' nests and then it was left abandoned before being restored by Encomas. 50% of the timber, clay tiles and metal roof had to be replaced during restoration. You want? Give me... Uh, two, two. Two, two, two. Uh, two, two. Uh, take away, that's too much. Take away, take away. That's too much. The room on the top floor here was painted red. This was to honor Sultan Badlisha as red was his favorite color. Sultan Badlisha's favorite cake was lemon poppy seed cake, and this cake was always baked to perfection by Diem Bakery. As you walk down the steps here, you can see these 48 hanging light covers, which were fabricated by a local. Third generation apprentice who learnt it from his father. Dating back 250 years, Pekan China Jetty spans across the Anna Bukit River. It was constructed in 1940 for residents to commute between Kampung Seberang Nyonya and the city centre. Revitalized in the 2020 with Encoma CSR project under the Alosta Heritage Trail project, it is now a nice tourist spot to visit. This part of Pekan China used to be an important and busy trading post with traders coming all the way from China, Thailand, India, and many other countries plying their trade here. Tell me. What do you think? <laughs> what is this? Tell what you are eating. I don't know what this is. Cinnamon tart. Cinnamon tart is it? Some lemon tart. Some lemon What is tart. the white stuff there? This one is whipped cream. Oh, and then the side is the crust. The tart, yeah. So is it good? Yeah, very nice. You want to recommend it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a, a fame cake maker. What's your opinion about this? Cinnamon tart. Nice. It's not cinnamon tart. Eh? Lemon, lemon tart. tart. Oh, lemon tart. Okay, kiwi lemon. Good. Kiwi. Nice. You can taste the lemon. Yeah. And the tart. Mm. And the kiwi. Mm. Kiwi. Mm. What kiwi? Mm. Kiwi. <laughs> kiwi fruit. Huh? Kiwi. Nothing green there, what? <laughs> Where? Oh, there's some kiwi seeds. I can see there. Okay. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the trip to Cafe Diem, a heritage building in Alostar, which is now. A nice modern cafe. Cheers!